up everybody, Dre back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Ready or Not because they just released another newsletter earlier today. This comes again from the very generous Guinevere, the community manager at Void Interactive. And the name of this newsletter is called Suspect Feature. That's definitely an interesting name. I wonder what this is about. But before we get into all of that, be sure to like up the video, subscribe if you're new, and ding that bell so that you can get more content like Ready or Not or any other tactical game that I decide to cover. And with that all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with the introduction here. Hey everyone, welcome to the 22nd bi-weekly briefing for Ready or not, Ren will be previewing some of the animations and models for various suspects you'll encounter in Ready or Not's hotel level. Oh boy, another another newsletter that takes place in the hotel. Is anybody else getting sick and tired of that? I mean, I'm like, come on guys, like mix it up a little, you know, like give us like meth again or give us gas station or car dealership or club or something. You're showing off the same map over and over again when we know that you have more, kind of gets stale, you know? Come on guys. I mean, it's like, if you're not gonna update the damn supporter edition, the least you could do is woo me with these freaking newsletters. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it before I go freaking nuts. Up next it says, suspect models and animations. And ready or not, every encounter is defined by the presence or lack of a suspect beyond the threshold is there a suspect in the next room if so is he armed what weapon is he using does he have a hostage does he have a friend there waiting for you ah uh, yes 20 questions at the speed of light managing your squad members and the behavior of civilians both play a large part of the core gameplay loop but a majority of the decisions that the player makes in a level will revolve around when and where they find suspects interesting pushing on to the next thing here in the video below you'll be able to see a brief preview of the suspect models and animations Okay, we'll watch that and then break it down. Let's hop into it. So the video opens up on a part of the hotel that I don't think we've actually seen before. Some sort of red room with a bunch of steel beams like showing on the sides here. I'm assuming that this is a part of the hotel that's still being worked on because if you've seen the hotel like multiple times like I have, you've noticed that there's a lot of like renovations going on with this hotel. So it's probably that part that's being worked on, which I think is also up near the living quarters if I remember correctly. You know, I've always kind of wondered why there's like so much like renovations going on inside of this hotel. Like are they trying to hide freaking drugs in here or what? But uh, yeah, so it stays on this shot looking at this door here i wonder why there's a red light here is it supposed to be an exit sign or something not too sure about that but yeah the background music isn't exactly subtle and then it cuts to a dead person on the ground i can't tell if it's somebody that's a white supremacist or one of the cartel members it could just be a civilian too but i can't really tell from this angle i think that he's wearing those uh those boots those look like tims give me the tims nah. give me the tims nah. give me the tims right now not the tims So this might just be a civilian, but it looks like he got shot and then shut the door, fell down, and then tried to crawl away, but I guess he's either bleeding out or he's already dead, I can't really tell. Oh, I think I just saw his leg move right there, so either he's still alive or he has that thing where when people die, like, their legs move still or something like that. Right, I did see his leg move, right? Yeah, his leg kind of moved right there, so maybe. So I think he's still alive. And then it fades into this next room here, where it looks like there's some sort of whiteboard on the wall here. There's like a lockbox behind him with the cocktail Molotov on the left side side right there at least it looks like a cocktail mount top he's wearing some sort of vest here with a gas mask and a shotgun this is probably like the first time we've actually seen this character model i don't think i've seen this one anywhere else as far as i know at least not without his gear but you know what that means right we can't use cs gas to take this guy out he's wearing a mask I can't tell what kind of, that looks like a regular regular shotgun ones that you see at like a police station or something i wonder if um this is a guy that's like defending this little box here or something or if that doesn't even matter at all maybe he's just patrolling i don't know but this 
this definitely looks like a cartel member. Uh, it doesn't look like... Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not a cartel member. Maybe it could be one of the guys from the freaking MLO. Because I've seen that gas mask several times on uh, MLO stuff for marketing. But I don't know. I think it is a cartel guy, if I'm not mistaken. But then it cuts to the next scene here. And it looks like it's actually showing the other side of this guy. He's in some sort of studio that I don't think we've actually seen before. This is probably like the security room where, you know, they keep track of all their guests and stuff. There's probably a dead security guard on the floor right there in the back and this guy's just guarding this particular area but yeah this is definitely an interesting area that i don't think we've actually seen before because you got tvs in the background there tables there's another one of those orange crates right there which i don't think is actually important unless i'm mistaken and i'm not sure what that thing is off to the left there i guess it's a wall it might be like a oh no it's a box i think it's a box on top of something but yeah interesting room and then it fades into the next scene here where you see a dead suspect it kind of looks like a cartel member so i'm just going to assume it's a cartel member but you see quite a bit of blood on the floor here. Was somebody dragged or, or was multiple people shot here? Like, there's a lot of things that don't make sense to me. Like, why is there so much blood here? How do I even know it's blood? Did somebody just drop a freaking paint can right there? And if it's just blood by itself, did these guys, like, move the body? Or what? Continuity. But anyways, I believe there's a AK on the floor next to him. This is definitely the construction area of the hotel. You can kind of tell right there with all the freaking scaffolding. That wooden crate behind him. So, uh, yeah. Then it fades to the next scene and we see uh, another person with the same type of shotgun same vest but obviously a different person here because he doesn't have sleeves on this has got to be like one of the bosses or something but I mean, i'm sure the mission briefing will probably talk about these guys what does it say in his arm right there i could barely read that it says rebels reject rebels reject oh maybe this isn't a cartel member maybe it's a freaking white supremacist because it says rebels there generally like white supremacists and fascists align themselves with nazis and confederates so rebels possibly well then again in the previous part i said that this guy kind of looks like the guy with the you know with the mlo but his skin color kind of reminds me of uh you know the cartel guys well maybe the mlo is like accepting like different types of races like i don't know or maybe the biker gangs and the cartels are accepting both armor from the same freaking people i don't know or maybe it's just a coincidence that these guys have the same armor same weapon i guess we'll figure that one out but anyways it moves on to the next scene here it shows some more construction work you see a dead guy on the bottom left there and it shows another white supremacist with a tech nine right there right yeah tech nine okay i'm not sure this is like supposed to be like a living area right you can see like the kitchen in the background there that's where it's supposed to be and uh yeah you just see a bunch of people like standing around not doing anything too crazy here and then it cuts to the next guy here uh it's also one of those white supremacist guys that obviously has have uzi it looks like yeah he's holding an uzi while just standing in the middle of the freaking uh construction area and then it cuts to another shot of him the same guy but they're like really getting a closer look at him uh if i remember correctly there's supposed to be like a swastika on his neck or in the back of his head or something but the only thing that symbolizes his uh white supremacist stuff is like the the black eagle right there because they had that type of shit i'm not seeing it here maybe they took it off yeah but he's basically standing here at the aim ready position like ready to shoot somebody but i don't think there's anybody actually there camera like really likes his zoom around him in the background of the shot you can kind of see like more of the area that he's in this is the construction area and then it shows a door to the left here where it actually shows of the more finished hotel area which i believe is where all the rooms are on the upper levels then it cuts to the next scene here where it shows him at like not ready position or something he just has uzi in both hands right there just kind of facing downwards it's just like a different area though so he might be in a different area so overall uh it was just okay like i was kind of expecting a little more with the animations there but for the most part they were just kind of like standing there not really doing too much i mean it was i mean it does say just suspect preview so i mean maybe they're just showing off what they look like but i was kind of hoping to see more animations there like i gotta say i think i agree more with the comments over here on this unlisted video damn voice sure knows how to piss out their fan base ah uh, yes a loop of characters standing still how hype inducing and groundbreaking <laughs> love everything about this i'm glad to see my 120 dollars is being invested into a single video of suspects standing still and doing nothing the whole time keep up the good work and please please update the supporter edition i'm assuming i wonder when the dev team is gonna realize they are over promising and under delivering like you legitimately pissed off a good 90 percent of your following how about you actually give us something worth a damn rather than character models that are doing nothing and looking like mannequins with guns we're waiting void your move yeah that's kind of how i feel all right let's move on to the next thing here because suspect interaction is vital to a police shooter like ready or not the game's suspect ai has been crafted with immersion and variety foremost in mind 
mind. A suspect's background, experience, and motivation will determine the equipment they have as well as how likely they are to surrender or respond to force. More experienced suspects will put up a harder fight and might have gear designed to counter the tools you've come to rely on. Gas masks for tear gas, welding masks or goggles for flashbangs, body armor for beanbag rounds and bullets, and more. Lower tier suspects simply staging a robbery, by contrast, will likely be far less prepared and surrender when the pressure gets to be too much. The challenge that the suspects pose is not just their potential lethality, but how they force the player to react and make choices. It is in the hands of the player to determine when getting a suspect to surrender is unfeasible and when lethal force is a necessity. As preservation of life is the utmost importance, deciding how to handle potentially dangerous and volatile suspects will be a cornerstone of Ready or Not. In conclusion, this brings us to the end of their 22nd weekly briefing, previewing some of their suspects, models, and animations. Now, I gotta be honest, the animations there were really lacking. Like, I mean, I would expect, like, a suspect to be, like, behind cover or freaking setting up cover. Like, what would they do in that situation? That, they wouldn't stand in the middle of a freaking room, right? Like, what's going on there, man? I gotta be honest, this newsletter was kind of weak. Like, really weak. But that's just my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know down in the comments below, because I'm gonna get the hell up out of here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not and other tactical games, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon, or hop on the join button that's down underneath the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. I cover a lot of games. Stick around. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.